What is up, everybody? Circleflex is here bringing you another replay, and this week we're going to take a look at, at the end game of Scouts Tier 8 Light Tank Games. We are in the T49, which is driven by EP52. Uh, he does he is not in a clan nor in a platoon, and he is a Blunicum, so uh, pretty damn good player. We are in Counter Reshire. Um, I don't remember the last time I played in Counter Reshire, but it is a pretty nice game mode as far as encounter goes. Uh, I feel like it's a lot better than uh, with the normal the normal base there uh, in the in the normal game. So as any scout game, we're gonna start off just uh, trying to passive scout a little bit. That we said comes in. We kind of esports the ever living hell out of him. We hit him and set him on fire. And trust me, this is T49, the esports edition, because what you're about to witness. It's some crazy, crazy shots, let me tell you. Uh, of course, we're making kind of fun of the esports thing here, where T T49s can just, like, one-shot, or almost one-shot somebody, and it's, like, pretty RNG if it hits or not, especially with the accuracy changes. Shots like this are not gonna happen every time you're gonna play a T49, trust me on this. It was already a bit wonky before the accuracy changes, but right now it's literally a dice roll. Like, even if you fully aim... The T-49 gun is absolutely crazy. For those who haven't driven it yet, just trust me here. This gun is crazy RNG, alright? Crazy RNG. But we're gonna go full esports mode, like I said. So we're gonna just half-ass half, half -ass some shots here. You know, sniping in the T-49 like it's nobody's business here. So we already did two shots. One in the Betchat pen for 851 as well. Which is like half-aimed. So, anyway, they're, they are in the cap, but it's not like uh, one T49 can just reset that, because obviously T49 has a really long reload and a really big derp gun. So, things like buffles and stuff like that, if you manage to pen them, you can pen those for, I think, up to like a thousand damage or something like crazy like that. So, the Betchat that he hit previously uh, just died there as well, which is one of the better players. That's a good one to uh, pick off there. Now, on the other side of the map, they're always on the 9-0 line here. Uh, it's always where the heavies go to fight, basically. It's a really good spot for heavies to fight, especially with no artillery. And in this game, there is no artillery, which is very nice. So, um, but the team of uh, EPA, or EPE, I'm probably going to butcher this name into the uh, into like uh, eternity, basically. So, EP, EPE, EP. I'm just going to call him EP, I guess. Well, anyway, here we go. So... He's just being really passive here, but he can't really do too much. Like, he could go and reset, but the medium's already going there. And the other flank, like I just said, the heavy tank corner here is uh, being lost right now. As you can see, the aiming time is like, like six decades. Uh, Fika B is a relatively big target, though, but still. Ah, why not? Let's just hit him for 280. Huh? Why not? Excellent sniper gun. <laughs> So, so far, I think if he's hit all of his shots, which is three shots and one fire. Um, so, yeah, esports all the way, boys. Esports all the way. For those who have played this tank, you know what I mean by this. This guy is incredibly troll, but in the hands of Eep. Yeah. Oh, Ryan Metal, excellent target. I think that hit, but if it hit, why didn't it kill him? Um, I think that hit, uh, and if it did, it probably hit the tracks and didn't kill him that way. Uh, obviously, you're gonna have to be wary about tracks and space armor shooting HE, uh, because those usually absorb uh, most of the damage. But I think that might have hit the right metal, but he didn't die for it. But probably the tracks ate it there. So the one-two line is always a bit dodgy to fight on, and but in encounter, I mean, you can reset the cap from there as well in certain cases. So he starts aiming for the Leva and he's 50 here. Hits the Leva. Why not? 350 damage. And all of this HE damage, uh, we had one pen, but it's kind of, you know, once you, if you manage to hit all of these shots for like 350, 250, it, it starts ending up. I mean, we're at two, 2k damage plus whatever we hit on the right metal. Uh, E50 there. Easy shot in the cupola. <laughs> like, you have to understand, this guy is so troll. And this guy hasn't missed a shot yet. So, I don't know. I don't know. It must be the, the cola consumable because... Well, Jesus Christ, this is just crazy. Anyway, VKB shows up on 60 health that he shot earlier, but uh, 60 health, even on the VKB, is gonna be pretty easy. 
if you manage to hit it. And of course he does, because why would you ever miss in the T-49 gun? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my T-49 gun is like crooked. I don't know. So, it's looking a bit dodgy right now with the full health E-100 rolling in. W set yours up, the scout. I had that shot was so dodgy. Yak-88 though, he's just standing there. He's gonna take his time aiming. He just started turning, takes a shot, doesn't pin him. Still does 360 damage, which is pretty respectable. Like I said, if you continuously do these amounts of damage, you're gonna, you start, you're gonna start picking up the kills. And the damage is gonna be uh, pretty pretty good for today's scouts. So, Yak-88, even though he's all down here with a good shot. There you go. Why not? Three kills. Kills the Yak-88 with the second shot. And this is where HE and, uh, and these guns is kind of nice, because even hold down Yank 88s, you're going to do like 100 damage or something towards, right? So, for those shots, it's pretty nice, because if he was if he was any other scout, he probably could not have taken out the Yank 88 at all. The E100, what I like about shooting the E100 here is that he doesn't try and like pen some weird angles with, with heat or anything like that. He just goes for the mass, you know, you just hit the middle of the E100 and you're, you're going to do some kind of damage. What you want to do against those E100s is not hit him in the side skirts, so. So here he's aiming for the turret, that's an excellent shot, because I find that the splash goes into the hull as well a little bit. Uh, if you gotta shoot like the tracks or the, the side space armor on the E100, you're not gonna do any damage. He's also making excellent use of the double bush here. He spots him, goes back, has a bush in front of him, takes the shot, goes back even further just in case, but doesn't get spotted for it. But now T49 goes to his right and he doesn't quite see it until this point he starts turning and this is always a tricky fight you if you get a really lucky roll i think you can one shot for 1100 with a really high roll but this is always a crazy fight he takes a shot hits him in the tracks and the other t49 pins him for roughly 800 ish damage and so that's what you want to try and avoid in t49 but the gun is so inaccurate that it will troll you so hard if you start aiming too much, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't go for the large, just hitting things shots and start going for like lower plates or engine decks, you're gonna have to be really, really close. So, that was a kind of a dice roll there. He could have died. I mean, he could have gone on fire. He doesn't have a fire extinguisher. But, really lucky there. And uh, walks away with it with almost 300 health still. And now there's an E100 and a Lova. And these things are looking pretty good. I mean, 18 health. Third person, half assed. A half-assed aim shot, but why not? We're going full esports mode. I don't know if you guys can't count yet, but I don't think he's missed a shot yet. And this is the T49 howitzer. Like I haven't seen a game being this esports in a long time. Like Jesus Christ. Life is there. He's like, all right, well, we can take that. We can, you know, why not? On the move. Ah, why not? Kill that guy as well. And he walks away with like five k, uh, five kills and over four k damage. Like I said, like a crazy, crazy esports game here. Like, I've, I've been sifting through a lot of replays, but this one, like the shooting in this one in the T49 is absolutely bonkers. But uh, let's just take a look at the post-game stats for this one, because I have a feeling that Rhyme Metal was also a hit. So, um, let's jump into that one. Alright guys, let's take a quick look at the post-game stats, because everybody always is curious what the XP was, etc. Obviously, Mastery Badge. Obviously, Tank Sniper. Because, well, why not, right? I mean, Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at the shots here. 1,641 basics to be almost reaching, well, 4,600 damage. Going towards that 5k damage. Him and the T60A obviously carried really well here. Take a look at the detailed report. 15 shots fired and 15 hits and pens. Now, I don't know to what kind of, like, what the hell you sacrifice, sir. But this is absolutely crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Uh, so the big speed with premium was 2,461. Uh, still made some credits out of it. Because keep in mind he did use the, the premium consumable. The, the cola case thing. For minus 20. And, um, but I just these shots were so esports. I don't even know anymore. Excellent game. Crazy to see this kind of accuracy in the T49, and as you can see, the damage does rack up quite nicely here. Almost 5k damage with only HE, not even the BBM HE, and just actually sniping with a T49. 
pretty crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed this replay. Uh, next one's coming up on Wednesday, which is obviously another tier 8 scout. And then the other one's going to be on Friday. And then I am at Gamescon, so I'm not really sure if I can do the winner announcement thing with the Q&A. Um, because I don't have a lot of questions on the previous video yet. So if you can go to the previous video, ask me a question there. I'll see what I can do. I might have to record the winner video uh, a couple of days later after Gamescon. So keep that in mind, but I'm trying my best here to give you guys these videos um, uh, so you can at least see the three games. So I hope you guys enjoyed this replay. Uh, as always, you can find my live on twitch.tv slash Zircon. Uh, this week that I'm hosting or uploading these videos, I'm probably not live streaming because I'm at, I'm at Gamescon in Germany. But as always, uh, you know, keep an eye out. Maybe you're watching this in a month or so. You never know. In any case, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me, uh, leave me a note down in the comment section below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, guys, and peace out.